Yo, yo, welcome back to Rex Tech, where we share and spread the good news of the cloud. So it's been six months at my role here at AWS as a technical account manager. Actually, it's been eight months, um, but your boy has been working and I haven't been able to put out these videos. So they're being staggered right now, right? And even though it's been eight months, like it literally feels like two years. It's, it's insane. The amount that I've been able to do, the amount I've been able to um, get exposed to in six months, it's mind blowing, right? And um, I don't want to glaze, but I'm loving it, right? Um, the things that I'm being exposed to, the things that I'm working on every single day, uh, my interests, my passions, it's literally just being every single day fueled, like the fire in me and the drive in me. Every single day I come to work, I just love it, right? And granted, I am aware of the, rea of the reality that any job, any company, any role, you can get laid off anytime. That's just the reality. However, I'm still loving it, man. So I'm gonna give you the four reasons why I've been loving it um, based off of my experience. And this is personal to me. So, um, you know, this is my opinion and it's not of the company or for anybody else, right? So these are my four reasons why I'm loving it here at AWS and hoping um, that I can continue to grow my career here. All right, so the number one reason is global impact to customers. Uh, one of my biggest reasons for loving this job is the direct impact I get to make uh, with some of the biggest customers in the world, right? Think of household names. If you're thinking about that now, trust me, we are working with them, right? And it's, it's just crazy because when you see these industry trends, when you see things change over time, right? Um, with my work, I am seeing it happen in real time. When those changes are happening, AI, MCP, uh, when you're talking about agents, like I'm seeing what is important to my customers and in tangent, it's, it's a global image of what is happening in the entire industry. And as a TAM, I'm my customer's primary technical point of contact, right? So when things break, whenever they have questions, whenever they need extra support, whenever there's a strategy that needs adjustments, whenever there's a major product launch, whenever there's a migration, whenever um, something needs to be refactored from monolith to microservices, I, I'm in those rooms um, helping them solve these issues, their day-to-day -day issues, their operations, helping them um, have operational excellence, um, driving the roadmaps to help them achieve their goals. And the scale of impact that I'm getting from interacting with my customers day-to-day, -day, the kind of visibility and influence, this early in my career at AWS, it's something that you can't put a price on, right? Yes, we have a salary of based off of my value that I provide to my customers and also the value I provide to AWS. But being here for eight months and the amount of, of exposure I've had, it feels like I've been here for two years, right? You just can't replicate that in any other company when you're working at such a company, such a large scale, right? You just can't. Maybe it will take me about, if I'm working at a regular company, the amount of experience I've had in six months might take me about three years to be able to see this amount of changes happening. It's so fluid when you're working with customers and their day-to-day -day issues, day-to-day -day problems, and you're helping solve them, and you're helping um, better their architecture, better their infrastructure. You're thinking about two years in advance. You're, you're, like, these, it's just so crazy. And I'm thinking about it now, and it's, it's, it's the level of growth and acceleration so quick, you almost don't have time for imposter syndrome. When I came in first, you know, your customers are coming to you for answers, right? Coming to you for issues. So you have to be the one to be able to give expert answer or be able to bring in the experts to be able to deliver to help them, you know, accelerate to, to solve their problems, right? And at first, you know, you're like, man, they're coming to me. I'm supposed to be the one who's supposed to help them, right? And you have that slight imposter syndrome at the beginning, but things are going so fast. Customers need stuff solved so quickly that you just don't have time to even dwell on imposter syndrome. You're more thinking of bias for action. I need to help my customers solve this thing now, in the next week, tomorrow. I need to bring in experts into this discussion so we can drive this forward all the way to resolution. And when you're moving that fast, trust me, you don't have time for imposter syndrome. You're just trying to help your customer make enough bounds and leaps to help them achieve some of their goals, right? That is your number one goal every single day. And um, just interacting with customers at the global stage, at a, the impact and the influence has just been insane, right? So that's the number one reason. Okay, now, the second reason is 
yes, you don't know everything. I'm not a subject matter expert. When my customers come to me for issues, I'm not going to be able to solve everything by myself. But in AWS, internal, we have unlimited resources to learn and grow. Like this is literally insane. I cannot express this any any greater than how, how I'm trying to, trying to right now. And I don't think many people talk about this, but um, every single week, when you talk about learning and growing, every single week, there are different events. There are different um, sessions, different meetings, different things that just get dropped on your calendar, right? Expert-led sessions covering the most dynamic and cutting-edge industry um, technology tools. Think about uh, Gen AI, think about um, um, Kubernetes, think about networking, storage, serverless, uh, anything you can think of, there is something going on tomorrow. Like you can just think about it. Oh, I need to learn something about AI. Oh, let me jump in this meeting where this person is literally breaking down what MCPs mean and how it works on AWS, how, what we're looking forward to it in the, in the future, and also how is our customers using this stuff? So you're literally learning from the experts who are in the field building this stuff and interfacing with customers, and they're bringing that information to you every single day. So between working with customers and all these resources internally, the growth and, and, and exponential accelerated um, progress Oh my God, I, I'm telling you, it's things you cannot put a price to. And like I said, we have the salary, but this thing, man, this is generational stuff that can take you, that you to help you like accelerate your career four years, 10 years in advance, right? The, the saying is that one year at AWS is like two to three years anywhere else. And trust me, it literally feels like that. And it's crazy. You can literally drop a question in a specific technical channel. Any random question that has to do with that, that technology, whether it's serverless or a specific ser service like Lambda, and these experts will flock out of nowhere and just start answering your question at any time, literally, any question you have. You drop it in there, and in less than 5 to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you get at least like six answers. People just trying to answer you. People give you, ask you questions like, hey, um, give me some more information. I can help you. To ask, ask your customer this question. Um, it, they just help you to think about how you can solve the issue or answer your question. It's, it's so crazy because you move so fast. You have a question that's very technical, very complex. And in a matter of, of maybe 30 minutes, that question has been broken down so detailed to where everything is laid out to how you can take that question to your customer and help answer it because you have the, enough information from this resources of employees who are extremely smart, who are helping you answer these questions. So it's never just you alone. You have like a, 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 a army of people that is ready to help you um, uh, with any question that you might have, right? And that right there empowers you so much to want to help your customer. And even if you don't have all the answers, it still helps you know that, hey, you can rely on people right? Whether it's your internal team or some other people that maybe you've had rapport with, or you could just drop in a, a question in a Slack channel. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Number three is freedom to shape your career, right? Okay. So AWS is like, has over what? A hundred thousand employees and, and Amazon itself has over 1.5 million employees. Internally, when you work here, it feels like a hundred companies in one. I say that to say, if you align well with Amazon culture, which I really feel like I do, it's almost no reason for you to ever leave. Why? It's because if you don't like your role, if you don't like where you're at, you're free to explore other roles. You're free to explore other orgs. You're free to explore other internal businesses and no one bats an eye. I mean, literally, you may have your day-to-day -day job, like me as a technical account manager, but at any point, any time, I can get with a group of people and we can explore our passions, we can create an initiative, we can create some, pro some program, literally just create a program that based on something that we're passionate about, and we can drive that program all the way to it actually have an impact on customers. And having that freedom to do that is 
um, to me, it really helps when it comes to job satisfaction because you're not pigeonholed into one area, right? If I said I wanted to create a new program, no one is going to tell me no. You can go ahead and do it. Granted, there's still processes and procedures and bureaucracy to actually the process to actually get that going and get it approved and finalized. But if you want to go off and do something completely irrelevant to your role, no one is going to stop you. Oh yeah, go and do that. As long as you're taking care of your day-to-day -day job, right? And you're making sure you have an impact with your customers and stuff like that. But no one is going to stop you. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I'm a technical account manager now. However, you know, I still have interests, right? I still have passions. Um, before I came to AWS, I always felt and thought that the solutions architect would be uh, my dream role. But now that I came in as a technical account manager, um, I still believe that I would want to be an SA. Not necessarily because it's my dream role, but more of I realized that there's certain skills and experiences that, you, that I want to acquire if I'm in that role as an SA, right? I may not be there for 10 years. It might not be a role that I stay in forever, but there's certain skills that I would want for my career that I believe being an SA would help me, right? And there's something part of the culture where um, it's called a two-way door. We are free to go and try out another role um, and if it's not a good fit, we can always go back. So um, that is so great because it means that um, you're not pressured to stay in your role. You can go out and try different things. You can go out and explore your interests. You can go out and explore your different passions in a different role. And if it doesn't work out, you can always come back, right? So I love that about uh, what I'm seeing so far, right? So in the future, there's this specific role um, I've been looking at. I'm looking at this role called cloud technologist. There's not a lot of people with that role, um, but two, two persons that inspired me about that role. Um, this lady named Alana and Morgan. They actually were very impactful to the beginning of my cloud career, um, but they were cloud technologists, and I see a lot of them usually come from the background of education and training, which is a passion of mine, and that's an area that I can see myself going into to maybe move into cloud technologist. And these are things that I can think about. These are things I can bring up to my manager. And my manager would actually look at, based upon what I'm trying to do, can help me shape my day-to-day -day work and day-to-day -day operations and my long-term goal to say, okay, these are the things, these are how you can place yourself strategically to be put in that role. So being empowered to shape my own career is huge, right? Now, there's, it's two-edged sword. Some people might actually want their manager to set their goals and their career for them. Um, but for someone like me, who is very driven, who's very strategic, who knows what I want, um, this is great because then I can choose what I want to do and I can back it up with reasons why and um, I'm free to go for that, right? So that, that's pretty awesome for me. All right, so the last one is freedom to explore interests and passion projects, which is basically flows from the previous one, I guess. So I talked about it earlier where you can just literally explore personal passion projects, right? Passion-driven initiatives. You're free to go and do it. Um, even if, if you want to launch a new program, if you want to create a new AWS service, <laughs> you can go ahead and do that, right? That's pretty crazy because even being here for a very short time, I've been part of three new initiatives, right? Help founded two and been part of one that is relatively new, right? So that is pretty cool because these are areas that I'm actually interested in, right? I'm a multifaceted human being. All of us are, right? Yes, I have my day-to-day -day technical account manager role, which I love, and it definitely takes up most of my time of the day. But being multifaceted, there's other things I'm interested in, and other people are also interested in these things. And if we align and say, hey, this is something that can actually help my career, this is something that can actually help AWS, this is something that can actually help our customers. When you bring, when you put all that together and it's worth going for, and you have a team and everybody is, is, is driven and um, bought into the idea of, hey, how is this gonna help our customers at the end of the day? Is this something that's worthwhile pursuing? Once we buy into that, free to go, man. It's almost like creating your own internal startup in AWS. You're free to do that. And the thing is, some of these internal programs end up becoming so big and so impactful that the team who created it ends up creating their own team and that becomes their full-time role. So that's pretty insane. Um, you literally do not see that anywhere else in any like regular company, right? So um, for me, you know, I'm not coming from Fang, right? This is my first 
large company. So this stuff is pretty insane to me that you're able to do this. The amount of freedom, the amount of autonomy, the amount of of leadership that you can have over your career, over your day to day, over your job, over your um, it's just insane to me, right? So, and that's why I'm loving it because if you've watched all my videos, if you've looked at my LinkedIn, the stuff that I've posted, you understand why I, I really identify with these four um, reasons and why Amazon culture really fits into the person who I am, right? So that is my thoughts. That is what I think today. Obviously, in a year's time, two years, 10 years, that could change. But, you know, I'm just speaking from my heart, speaking how I feel right now. And um, I'll give you an update Maybe my next update will be after a year, right? I'm at eight months now, so four more months, I'll be at a year. That would be another insane, another insane milestone. But um, yeah, that's it for me. This is Rex Tech signing out. Uh, make sure you keep sharing the goodness of the cloud. My next video, hopefully I didn't drown too much in the weeds with work and stuff that I'm just, you know, getting drowned. Over. When I say drowned, I mean like actual work that I'm passionate and interested in. I just get so wrapped up in it that sometimes I forget, oh shoot, there's other stuff happening in the world. <laughs> All right, cool. See y'all later.